Let's now talk about basic stuff in Excel, as in when you enter the data in Excel, how do you know what Excel is treating the data as? So typically when you talk about data in Excel, it is either going to be read as a number or it will be read as a text or it is read as a Boolean value. Apart from that, it typically does not recognize anything else. So whatever you are typing in in Excel is either categorized as a number or a text or a Boolean value. So how do I know what Excel is treating the value that I'm putting in a cell? Very simple example. If I put a number and I press enter, where does the value align? Left or right? Right. So anything which is treated as number automatically gets right aligned in Excel. If I write hello and I press enter, where did it align? Left or right? If a value is being treated as a text, it will always be left aligned. So numbers are right, text are left. And if you put a Boolean value of zero, uh, true or false, then it is in the middle. Okay, so if I have any Alphanumeric, for example, if I have, um, hello, 20, what will this be? If I type in hello, 20, what will it be treated as text or a number? It is going to be text, right? So it will automatically go towards left. All right, what about the symbol like greater than, greater than equal to text to number? All the characters that we see on the keyboard, those are all text symbols are text all right so greater than equal to is also a text all the symbols are text so this is also you will see this left align now how about if i put today's date so 31st uh, 1 2022 and what do you think it will be text or a number it is actually a number okay so if i expand this so that you know which side it is aligning it's a number so when it comes to date date you put either hash uh, the hyphens or you put slashes if i would have written 31.01.2022 and i'm sorry i'm writing in ddmm then you can see if i put dots now is it taking as a date or is it taking as a text now it is taking as a text. So you have to be careful. So just very, very important thing when it comes to date. Dates are numbers for Excel. And it's very important they behave like numbers because in the future, when you're trying to use any formulas on top of it, when you're trying to do some sorting, when you're trying to do some you know, filtering, apply some functions on top of it, if it is going to be stored as a text, we will not be able to do any kind of working in Excel because this is text. So what, what is applicable when you're using a date? You either use mm slash dd slash yy or mm hyphen dd hyphen yy. Hyphens or slashes, dots are not allowed. Now dates are stored in Excel as a whole number. So sometimes it may happen that I type in date, but when I look at the cell, it is giving me a number like something like this. Why does that happen? Because that time Excel tries to understand the formatting around what is going on around the cells and it kind of imitates the formatting around it. But uh, date is stored as a whole number in Excel. So what is this? Why? Today is 44,592. Why? What is this number? This is the number of days passed since Jan 1, 1900. So since January 1, 1900, how many days have passed? That is equal into the whole number that Excel stores the data as. 
Okay, so anytime you get a whole number, let's say you wrote it, you did write Y nineteen hundred. That's how system is, you know, Excel is configured. Some of I don't remember which version it was was starting from nineteen hundred and four. Then they made it nineteen hundreds, but that's how they, you know, that's how old dates Excel can recognize. If you put anything in eighteen hundreds, it does not get recognized as a date only. So don't know the reason why, but that's how they have created it. And anytime you get a number, you can always, we will work on this area again. You can convert it into date, but just wanted to let you know, dates are number, hence they're aligned on right side. And to make sure they behave like number, use either the slashes or the hyphens. Now, uh, talking about date, let's talk about time. So, for example, if I put a time like um, 8, 20 p.m. Text or a number as a text. And why is it a text? Because I have this p.m. sticking to it. Okay. It should ideally be 8, 20 with a space and a p.m. Now, it will treat it properly. Or if you would have put 20, 25 right and then press enter this is also taken as a time in 24 hour clock right so if you stick your ams and pms with the time then it's taken as a text but otherwise it is if you write it properly and if you want the filtering all those things that i was talking about date the filtering the sorting the functions the formulas to work properly and treat it as a time then you have to make sure you give a space between am and pm all right. Any time you have a text or a number together without any spaces, by default, it is going to start reading it as a text. So, you know, even though over here we have a AM, PM, which is a text, still it understands because of the space that it is not a text, it's a time. And similarly, you can also see that I can write something like 31st of January 2022. Even though I've written the entire word January, this is also an acceptable format of date. But if I would put something like a 31st January 2022, now this has become a text. It is going to be, see, when you start writing the formulas or when you're trying to do any basic functionality on these tables, um, if your data type reading is not correct with Excel, then also we have a lot of trouble. Okay, so text, number, these are the basic things. Left, right, configuration. Just like I said, dates are stored as a whole number. Time is actually stored as a decimal number. How is it stored? So, for example, if I wanted to say 8 p.m. So, what is 8 p.m.? On a 24-hour clock, that becomes 20 by 24. So that becomes 0.833. That's why I said it is taken as a decimal number. So 20 divided by 24 becomes 0.833. And if I go back and I say, okay, convert it into time, then it becomes 8 p.m. All right. 